What is going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Bring the Juice. Guys, this is just a continuation piece from the recap that we did. Uh, I would highly encourage you to go check out practice day four recap when you get a chance. But this is kind of just going off on a little bit of a tangent here, just talking about you know the some part that happened during practice, and that was talking about defensive end by Atu Latu. We talked about it in the last video about Samson Ebukam and who's going to step up with him being gone for the season. And Latu, when given the opportunity to, he has. He has stepped up in a big way in day four's practice, had multiple sacks during the 11 on 11 stuff, had a, a great rep against left tackle Blake Freeland and also had a great rep against Bernard Ryman. Ryman, who is quickly ascending as one of the better left tackles in the league now, and Laiatu Latu burnt past him, which would have resulted in a sack on Anthony Richardson had he been allowed to hit him. So it's definitely been a great start to camp for Laiatu Latu. Even in the individual drills, you can just see the athleticism and the speed and the technique is just all there. It just pops off in front of you, so it's not hard to see. So really awesome to see Laiatu doing what he's doing there. And then to Tuesday, with it being the first full day of pads, just happens to have his best practice yet. So it's obviously a great situation for Latu. Great way to start off having pads and you're going out there getting multiple sacks in a game or in a game setting, you know, practice setting that could be a game. So really awesome to see Latu really stepping up in that role because like we said, Ebucom's now gone. You're looking for that number one guy off the edge and your name was brought up just like with Odangbo and with Lewis and Quiddy and stuff like that. And, you know, Steichen says it's time for you guys to step up. And, I mean, go figure, right? With being drafted 15th overall by the Colts in this last year's draft, I got to imagine that there's some high expectations coming for you specifically about doing things in this particular order. So, so far, Latu Latu been having a great offseason. No doubt, big loss losing Ebukam. And even Latu talked about it, saying that he that he really is sad that this news has happened. But his thought process is not changing. He's coming to be the number one edge rusher for the Indianapolis Colts, even before Ebukam going down. So Latu's going at it, and he's ready to kick off and ready to go do whatever it takes. And I truly believe that Latu will eventually get that number one spot. I, I know Taekwon Lewis does some great things occasionally. I know that Dio Dangbo can have those moments of greatness uh, against b bad offensive lines. But I think Latu, with his skill set and what he does, I think it's only a matter of time until Latu actually puts together everything that we need for him in order to be able to have this defense going at a pace we needed. So let me know what you think, guys. Latu Latu, having a great practice today, has had been showing some great strides. What do you guys think? Is Latu's days coming, or what do you uh, expect from him? But that'll do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much, and as always, go Colts.